So what's up everyone, my name is Ben and today I'm going to be showing you and talking about how you can fix the issue of uh, update Apple ID phone number uh, message that pops up in settings. Now this is quite a common issue I would say and what, what this, this issue is about, basically when you open up the settings app under your Apple ID or iCloud uh, username and name you will see a little pop-out called update uh, Apple ID phone number, something along, along those lines. Um, and basically this message after you click on it will just spin in a continuous loop and basically your phone or your settings app will be unusable, it will be completely lagged up and it won't be working. So today I will be talking about a solution uh, for your problem. The solution is quite simple I would say but there are many steps to it. So I will leave all the steps listed in the description down below and also I will probably be looking uh, at the steps on my computer screen so I can guide you through them but if you get um, confused or frustrated at any point just go back or just go to the description and also look at the screen on uh, on your right for um, for basically a little um, how to uh, through this entire process. So what you want to do first is when you're in settings and maybe you are already stuck in the continuous loop, just double click your home button so the task switcher opens up and close the settings app uh, completely. Then do a reset of your phone. So pretty much turn off your Apple device, whether that's an iPad, iPod, uh, iP uh, iPhone, uh, turn it off uh, all the way and then wait for it to turn off and then turn it on again. This will basically wipe out and close out all the uh, processes in the background and basically restart them. And what you want to do next is uh, head back into the settings and turn off iMessage uh, and FaceTime. So basically you are going to be turning off uh, the uh, those two services. Now go back again into the settings app and click on your Apple ID. Then go into the passwords and security tab and then click on the edit trusted number. What you want to do next is go ahead and delete the, uh, the current uh, trusted number and before you can do that, Apple uh, will ask you or your device will ask you for um, for a new number. So basically the device wants to uh, have a new number before you can remove the old one. So what I recommend is that you first, um, once you get that message, just re-enter the exact same number that you already have entered uh, as your Apple ID number uh, and just confirm it. That works most of the time. Uh, and if it doesn't work, just do uh, basically the same process, add a trusted number, delete the existing number and enter a random number. Now, the whole point of this just is just for you to get through because you can change the number at any point. Uh, the whole point of it is for you just to get rid of that um, uh, Apple ID uh, message that you are continuously getting. So basically, um, you just edit and delete the previous number and re-enter a new one, either your existing one, and if that doesn't work, just enter a random number. So after you receive your uh, confirmation text message from Apple, so basically that will uh, arrive at the phone number that you just entered. If it's your existing one, it will of course arrive at your phone number. If you just used, I don't know, your, your mom's, your brother's, whatever phone number, it will arrive at theirs. So what you want to do is just enter the six digit confirmation code and click uh, trust or okay, something along those lines. And what you want to do next is do another reset. So basically turn off your iPhone uh, or any other uh, Apple device, turn it back on and then uh, go into the settings app and make sure that you turn on FaceTime and iMessage again. After that, the problem should be all fixed. The update Apple ID phone number uh, message should uh, should disappear from, from the settings app. And basically that's it. The, the fix is really not that complicated, but it does have many steps. So once again, I will put them all in the description down below. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it, that it uh, helped you out. If you did, please drop this video a like. If you have any other solutions that you have used and that worked, please leave them in the comments down below so other people can benefit from those as well. And that's basically it from the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.